are the oxidation and reduction potentials absolute values? The truth is they are not. They are relative. In order to assign them a standard value, it is necessary to compare them to the potential of a reference electrode, the standard hydrogen electrode. Today, you will learn all the details of this fascinating electrode. Our objective is to study the design of a standard hydrogen electrode. A standard hydrogen electrode consists of a platinum plate coated with platinum black. The platinum plate is connected to a platinum wire which is sealed in a glass tube. A little mercury is placed inside the glass tube and a copper wire is dipped in it for external contacts. This glass tube is enclosed by an outer jacket having a bell-shaped bottom. This outer jacket also consists of an inlet for hydrogen gas. It is dipped in the solution of 1M hydrochloric acid. This completes the assembly of a standard hydrogen electrode. The standard hydrogen electrode potential is considered to be 0 volt at standard conditions which are 1 atmospheric pressure, 25 degrees Celsius temperature and 1M HCl solution. The standard hydrogen electrode acts as a reference electrode and it is used to measure the potential of other metal half cells such as silver half cell where it acts as an anode and zinc half cell where it acts as a cathode. To summarize, we have learned a standard hydrogen electrode consists of a platinum plate coated with platinum black. The platinum plate is connected to a platinum wire which is sealed in a glass tube. This tube is covered with an outer jacket which is dipped in a 1 molar HCl solution and how it can be used as a reference electrode to measure the potential of other electrodes. So the standard hydrogen electrode allows us to determine the oxidation or reduction potentials for half cells. Thanks to this, there are lists of various standard reduction potentials like the one you're looking at here. This list will be extremely useful for understanding a lot of things about the chemical reactions.